in your work, you've worked with, I mean, probably, probably thousands of, I mean, really, really amazing, high performing men. Um, so, so what, what do you find that, that really, really separates those, those men, the, you know, some of the men who are just like literally the, the best in the world at, at what they yeah. do? Yeah. Well, like I said, I mean, to me, one of the greatest traits in a man, and I've, like you said, I've, I've been very, very fortunate to work with some really high profile, high performing men. It is a, a depth and a clarity um, that allows them to cut through whatever, um, you know, whatever other things occur here and stay on course in a very uh, distinct way while being very deeply relaxed. And uh, that as a quality uh, is something that I've only seen in in the men who really have achieved what they wanted to achieve, mm -hmm. that depth of relaxation combined with the strength of clarity. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say to... Um... I feel like in today's world, there's there's almost there's so many options, right? With with the internet, and it seems like a lot of my friends, even those who are who are entrepreneurs, depending on the week, they they're practicing on their handstands or on their marketing or on this. And there's there's almost so much, so many things that that we can be, and uh, and it's it's in our face, right? With, with the internet, and there's that kind of paradox of choice that I almost feel like keeps men from from committing to a path. Um, I've... Yeah. Yeah, I think that's definitely true. To me, um, you know, when you were saying what are the traits of high performing men, the other thing that all the men that I work with who are really high performing, both uh, personally and uh, financially, you know, in the success realm, um, they don't self reference a lot. And so, um, on the contrary, they mostly don't self reference at all or very little, you know, other than when it's really needed. And so um, regardless of what they do, um, it's never about them getting something or going somewhere. It's just whatever needs to be done is done. And some of it is just for the enjoyment of it. And some of it is because it's along the path. So I'm not necessarily opposed to a man doing yoga one week and, you know, marketing the next if it's not in response to thinking that he's not good enough and if he can just learn this one, then it's going to be okay. Oh, shit, this didn't work. Well, let me try this one. Then it's going to be okay. So it's the the lack of um, feeling that there's something deficient or wrong that makes it that anything that, that's being touched and, or being tried is kind of more a natural expression of the abundance that is life versus the grasping for the next thing that could potentially save his life, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you can you speak more to what that means on how a man doesn't um, he doesn't self self uh, reference? Well, there's there's many aspects to self referencing. The way I use it is both in um, physical um, thought and emotional. So in physical, in the physical expression, you often see people self-reference when they touch themselves, you know, and you see that, of course, you know, if you've ever been to an insane asylum, which I have, um, it's, you know, it's like this thing that wait, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, I'm still here. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, people do that to lesser degrees. But when you watch it, like, for instance, in the airport, there's a lot of that going on, a lot of fidgeting, a lot of unconscious, smacking of the gum, you know, ticks, adjusting, this kind of. So those are self-referencing behaviors that are physical, where there's a constant attention on, am I still here? Am I still the human that I am? Am I still separate? Is everything still okay? That's a, that's a you know, physical self-referencing. The mental self-referencing goes from everything uh, like, you know, am I good enough? Am I good enough? Am I winning? Am I losing? Is it okay? Is this okay? Does she like me? Does, uh, that, that the constant internal talk that also comes out in the way somebody speaks, where it's often all about them and their needs. Um, how it applies to, you know, yoga one week, marketing another is that a lot of men, um, have to feel like they're doing something valuable so that their existence is not, um, you know, put in question. So it's a constant, 
oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing yoga, I'm doing yoga, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. It's like it's it's this, but in a in a in a verbal uh, and, and you know mental and emotional way, where it's all about affirming that everything's still okay, and that things are being done so that things get better, versus doing things for the sheer pleasure or joy of doing them or because they need to be done and not so concerned with the constant reaffirming of the self through action that improves the self. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So more, more of that, that being versus doing this. Right, which... More the being versus doing more the relaxation versus push more the feeling outwards versus feeling what's happening inside and so the, the the high high performing men i work with spend very little time on their inner emotional landscape interestingly enough they'll talk with me about it if i make them <laughs> but it's an afterthought right? this also applies of course you know that there's a fine difference um i'm saying you know that because you live in california <laughs> um, you know there's a fine difference between having healthy raw or whatever kind of foods, you know, paleo or whatever people are into foods for the sake of optimizing performance and well-being and for the sake of self-referencing because one is better than or if one eats the right kind of food, one is considered more advanced or, you know, separate from other people who are not eating that well and or exercising, you know, as a part of, as putting yourself apart from other people. So there's, there's always the searching for the new thing to be separate, better than um, standing out, uh, being okay, and then there's doing the exact same things, might look exactly the same way for the sake of optimizing. Mm 